Hello and welcome to the first of many how-to videos. Now I'm going to keep them reasonably short if possible and just sort of get to the point and try to not digress when um, we're going through stuff. Anyway, so this is the first one. I'm just going to talk about how to bowl a fish. Nice and simple, I'm just starting from basics. Most people will probably know how to do this, but anyone new to the hobby, they may well, might not know how to and there may be the odd tip or trick that I do that you don't do which you could use within your koi keeping hobby that may aid you um, that's the main aim really um, so I say start at the beginning how to bowl and how to bowl a fish nice and simple um, what's needed and how I do it right let's crack on so you're going to need some equipment for this you're going to need a net. A koi sock or a bag. And a bowl, preferably round. So net. And a nice big net. Probably got some biggish fish. And not just that, it makes it easier getting the smaller ones as well. You've got a bigger net, you've got a bit more area to try and catch the fish. No point in having a piddly little net. Especially if smaller fish are a bit skittish, swim around 100 miles an hour, you, you'll never get them. So a nice big round net. We'll talk about that in a second. Right. So your bowl, round bowl preferably. More than likely if you buy it from a koi place, it will be blue. Reason being the fish stand out the fish's colours stand out a bit better in a blue bowl and a bit more vivid. The um, reason you need a round one doesn't really matter on the size, obviously you need to be able to fit the fish in it comfortably. If you get a round bowl and you've got a round net, you do this. So if you've got a fish in there and you need to wander off or just to keep it from squashing around if it's a bit angry, you can just chuck the net over the top and the fish can't jump out the bowl and there's no need for any extra equipment or bowl covers or anything like that you can just use the net that's why I prefer a round bowl and a round net lastly koi sock this looks like this it's an open ended piece of material with a wooden or metal handle you get varying diameters um, I've got a few bigger ones, or well, one bigger one for the bigger fish, and this one pretty much fits everything else up to sort of 60 or cm size. You don't want a waterproof one uh, because when you scoop the fish up, you're lifting not only the weight of the fish, you're actually lifting out all of the water that's in here as well. Although the water can pass through this, and you're thinking you want to keep the fish in the water, by the time you've lifted the fish out and put it in the bowl, there's a bit of water in there, enough just to cushion the fish. Uh, and it's not bending itself and snapping itself inside the sock. If you haven't got one of these, you can also use just a normal koi bag. So if you've ever bought a fish, which you must have at some point probably, keep hold of a bag or two after you take the elastic bands off the top and keep the bags. Um, you can use this instead of a koi sock if you haven't got one. We'll show you that in a minute. So let's get all your equipment on the side of the pond ready. We'll leave the bag for a second. Get your net out. Bowl on the side of the pond. And if you've got an aerated drain or any air stones on, just turn them off so you can see what you're doing because obviously the ripples in the water are clouding where you can see. So turn your air off and then you're good to go. So the air's off. Now if you just want to have a quick inspection of a fish, I personally would just bowl the fish within the pond. So just leave the, leave the bowl there, find your fish that you want to net, we'll go for the small show up.
So just sort of follow the fish gently. Try not to stab at it, which I'm sort of doing here, but you get under it. Like that. Back with the bowl. You know, I'll lift it right out of the water. So if you get your bowl, put it like this. And there. Get a bit of water out. So you've got the fish in the bowl, you can actually have to take it out of the pond. If you need to turn it over to have a quick look at it, you can. Like that. Or you just want to have a closer look at it because there was maybe a knock or a scale missing. Whatever, whatever the reason, you can do that with the bowl in the water. It's far easier for you and the fish. And then when you're done, him or her go. Job done. So the next one up from that, I'm going to get a fish out and actually put it in a bowl because you need to treat it when you know you need to treat it. Um, you're going to need your sock that to hand on the side or your bag. We'll do it with a sock first, I'll do it with a bag second. So again, get your net in the pond. He does it. Get over now with your, your sock, if you can, hold the bottom like this, and top like that. You want to go head first. Obviously you have to remember to hold the end of it, otherwise the fish will come out. There's the end. So, a bit of water in there like that. And I like to just lift the fish out like that. With a bit of water, it's, it's not a massive fish, 40 odd cm. And as you lift it over, in the bowl. Scoop a bit of water there and it just helps the fish come out the other end. Somewhere in that. There. Good done. Now if you haven't got a sock or you don't want to use a sock, as I said, you can use a bag to do exactly the same thing. Just get your bag, roll it down. It doesn't need to be a huge bag, it's not a massive fish. Just get some water in it. Scoop it like that. Run head first for the fish. This is in the bag. Again, not too much water because you want to be able to lift it. And also, if needed, have a quick inspection of it. Have it still been in the water? Back over. And there we go. We'll reuse the bag another day. There we have it. It's how to get fish out of the pond safely. Um, important to remember just to keep calm. It can be a bit daunting trying to catch a fish, especially if it's buzzing around the pond at 100 miles an hour. Um, if you've been out for a few minutes, your vest off and you haven't caught it and you're just stressing yourself and the fish out, going away for 10 minutes, having a cup up and then coming back when everyone's calmed down, including yourself, and then have another go. Uh, some fish just don't like being caught, others um, 
don't really seem to be bothered or they're just pretty easy about it. Um, but just keep calm, it will keep the fish calmer and it will stop you hurting or damaging the fish and just getting absolutely annoyed with it. So worst case, pop away, get a cup of tea, come back when you're a bit more chilled out and have another go. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, um, there will be plenty more to come. Catch you soon, bye.